All right, today we're gonna to take a look at the new Sylvania Smart Plus product. It's the adjustable white and full color flex. These are LED strips. These are Zigbee devices, so you need to have a Zigbee hub to work with them. I think Sylvania still makes their own hub. Um, I use Smart Things, but you can see on the side that it works with a bunch of different hubs, Smart Things, uh, Wank, Iris, Logitech, and more. Um, it also is optimized for voice control, so we're gonna set this up uh, with smart things and then from there we're going to be able to control it with both the Amazon Echo and the Google Home. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pair this to smart things. I just took it out of the box a minute ago and I haven't connected it to power or anything yet. I just connected all the pieces together. We've got three strips and then this just connects to the power. This is where the Zigbee radio is and then we've got our power brick. So the first thing we're going to do we're gonna I've got smart things open we're just gonna put this in pairing mode and if this is anything like the previous Sylvania products I've had it should pair really quick so we're just gonna go ahead and plug this into the power on the side of the island you can see it's going through colors it's going into pairing mode and then we're gonna go back over to smart things this bedroom device that I found is a Sonos speaker that I just added earlier, maybe two or three days ago, and I haven't configured it for smart things, so we're just going to tell it to look for another device. And it should show up here in just a minute. Okay. For some reason it's not pairing, so we will hang on for just a second. Okay, all I did was I just saved the pairing on the other device, that Sonos hub that I just found, and before I could even resume the video, it found the flex strip. So it's really, really easy to pair, um, just like all the other products made by this company. As soon as you plug it in, that device is going to go into pairing mode, so as long as your new device is looking for a hub to pair with, it's going to connect real quickly. So we're just going to rename this for testing purposes. I'm going to put it on my bookcase. So we're just going to call it bookcase lights. And then done and save. That's all we need to pair. And then this will vary based on the hub, but I've got smart things. So we're going to go into the living room. We're going to add this to the living room settings. I've already got a bunch of stuff here. We'll add a device and then we'll scroll up. Uh, the bookcase lights are what we're looking for. We'll add that done and there we go so it's already connected so this will control it through smart things really easily on off and then we can back up a little bit and now since these are color changing lights we can control on off but then you can also hit this color wheel here and pick a color so we're looking at a blue here go over to red. One of the issues I had with the previous version, and I've got five of the previous generation of the color LED strips made by the same company, is that some of the colors weren't as true as I would like. And I'm a U of L fan and red didn't come through as good as I would like. It was a little bit of an orange tint. Looks to be a little bit better on the new model, which is good. Um, especially in my case, I have automations that will automatically turn my LED lights that are behind the TVs certain colors based on game times and I might do a video on that later but it's really my only complaint with the previous versions and the color the colors aren't as true as I would like with the old ones this definitely looks better we're gonna go a light green here um, and then kind of a, a light blue and then we'll go to white it seems to rotate through the colors really well so so far it looks awesome easy to control. You can also adjust the color temperature uh, since these are tunable white lights as well. Right now we're at 65,000, or sorry, 6,500 Kelvin. And then as we dial it down to something a little bit softer, my kitchen lights are usually right around 4,000. So right now it's set at 3,900, 3,992. So it's really easy to adjust. The whites look very, very good. I think this is also an improvement over the previous generation. We'll go down to something softer, 2700, 
um, you know, it's kind of good for evening lighting. But it's really easy, just the slider and smart things works really well. I didn't have to install any of the customized device handlers or smart apps. It all works right out of the box. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to set this up on my bookcase and then we'll take a look at it there.